Hey y'all, it's time for another Wet Your Whistle Wednesday on Uncle Bub's Bell Buckle Beer Reviews. And I've got another head-to-head -head challenge we're gonna do today. All right, so this week I'm gonna do all IPAs. I've got a bunch of different IPAs, uh, so I'm gonna be doing them all week. But I'm only gonna do one head-to-head -head challenge, and that's this here today. I'm gonna do a Rogue Colossal Clawed Imperial Pale Ale, India Pale Ale, at a 8.2% alcohol by volume. We'll be doing the Colossal Claude, and we're going to compare it to Captain Dynamite IPA. Captain Dynamite IPA, and this stuff is a what is it? What did I see that? 7.7% ABV. All right. So we're going to do the Colossal Claude versus the Captain Dynamite. Now, um, the biggest difference between these two brews before I even taste them is the price. Um, the Rogue is always a more expensive brew. It just always is. It's very expensive. Um, to get a six pack of these brews is about 13 bucks, I think. Anyway, all right, so Rogue Colossal Claude. Pour it off in there. All right, that's the Rogue. And then the Captain Dynamite, Voodoo Ranger, Captain Dynamite IPA. And I, you know, I've had experience with both of these, uh, the Voodoo Ranger from the New Belgium Brewing Company and the Rogue Brewing Company. Um, I've enjoyed all the brews I've had from both of these guys. But if you look immediately, when the pour off, man, the, the, the Voodoo Ranger had a lot, had a lot more head to it. The color, I mean, from what I can see right now, the color is almost identical. It's almost identical in color. Both of them are a little bit hazy. Looks like the Captain Dynamite IPA is a little more hazy. But man, I, I can see bubbles just going to town in the Colossal Claw. I can't tell in the Captain Dynamite because it's, 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 it's more hazy. But the color itself is, is, uh, is comparable now. Colossal Claude, a, a strong smell of hops. Uh, the Captain Dynamite, not so much. I was expecting a little more hop aroma out of it than what it's got there. Captain Dynamite, Voodoo Ranger, Captain Dynamite IPA, 7.7% alcohol by volume. Rogue, Colossal Claude, what did I say, 8.2? Yeah, 8.2. So about a 0.5 difference in the alcohol by volume. With the Colossal Cloud. Colossal Cloud, weird looking kind of label, weird name. And then the Voodoo Ranger Captain Dynamite. I have tried a lot more of the Voodoo Ranger by the New Belgium Brewing Company simply because I can get my hands on them. Um, I, Rogue Brewing Company, I have a hard time finding them. I and mean, usually when I find one that I haven't tried, I'll go ahead and get it. Even though it's that gum expensive as crap, I'll go ahead and get it and try it because I've liked all of Rogue's brews so far. Um, but the, the Voodoo Ranger is just more readily available in my area, to put it that way. Um, Road Brewing Company, let's see, they're out of, uh, where are they out of? Dead gum, I can't read it, man. It's Newport, Oregon, maybe? I think, I think that's what it says, Newport, Oregon. I can just, man, my, I need some new glasses and they need to make right and bigger on these cans. And the Voodoo Ranger is, mm, Fort Collins, Colorado, and Asheville, North Carolina. So, a little bit closer to North Carolina than I am Oregon, so that's you know, probably one of the reasons I can get the Voodoo Ranger more, perhaps, more easily. Anyway, beautiful head on both of them. Mmm. Head on the Colossal Claw. Got a nice strong head, a strong hop flavor in the head. 
Mm. If y'all watch my videos, y'all know I'm a hop head anyway. Wow, okay. Strong, strong hop flavor in the head. Very mild hop flavor in the head, very mild. But, mm, when it goes down, when you finish it off, it's got a bitterness that just, man, it's got some bite. And I love bitter in the beer too. So I don't rub on me. Mm. Uh, that's got them both poured off in here. Captain Dynamite 7.7 .7 versus Colossal Claude 8.2. And again, um, now that I've got them both poured in there, the color is, is, is similar, hazy on a Colossal Claude, more hazy and a little bit darker for the Captain Dynamite. Just a little bit darker and a little more opaque than the Colossal Claude. Um, so there we go. All right, so these two IPAs are for the American workers. Hey, thank you for what you do. You work hard to you know support yourselves and your families and, and to pay your own way and support our economy. I woke above here in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. I sure do appreciate y'all. We all depend on each other, man, and I just appreciate what y'all do. These IPAs are for you, the American worker. All right, so we're gonna start off with a colossal club with the 8.2 ABV. Well, all right, so had a strong hop flavor in the head, the body not so much. Man, I, I'm detecting some fruity, fruit, a little bit, a little fruity flavor in it, um, but very mild, very, very mild for 8.2% alcohol by volume. All right, so the uh, Captain Dynamite, It's almost reversed. The Captain Dynamite didn't have much of a, a hop flavor in the head, but you can detect it in the body of it. And it's got, man, it's got, uh, this is gonna sound weird, y'all. Right, so the head had, had bitterness in the finish. The body has a, it's got a sweetness in the finish. A little more hoppy flavor, and the hops are very mild. I mean, the, the hops were not pronounced in the head, but you can taste them in the body, but they're mild. And it's got a sweetness in the finish. Wow. As compared to the Colossal Claw, Okay, y'all. So, which one do I prefer? Um, not so much hot flavor in the beer. A little more hot flavor in the beer. Uh, not so much sweet. But not, I mean, it has a little bit of bitterness, but not much. And that one's got more of a sweet finish. I'll tell you what, um, both of these are good brews, but uh, my preference, personally, would be the Colossal Claude. And the reason is, uh, the, the Captain Dynamite, in the finish, it's almost, the sweetness is just almost overbearing to me when comparing the two. Now, if I had just popped open the Captain Dynamite and been drinking it, I might not notice it as much as I do when comparing it against the Colossal Claude. Anyway, my preference today would be the Colossal Claude. Um, a little more expensive, a little more alcohol, uh, a little less sweet, which I prefer. This one just got some sweetness in it. That it's still a good brew, 
Um, I like them both. But the Colossal Claw wins today, y'all. All right, so that's been Wet Your Whistle Wednesday. We're choosing Colossal Claw today. Uh, if y'all like the videos, there's a little beer mug right there. Y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm here every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Trying a different beer for y'all. Uh, Salute an American worker. Letting y'all know that I love and appreciate y'all. Uh, hey, if you like the videos, hit like, share, notification bell, all that kind of crap. Um, leave me a comment below. Let me know about your rogue experiences and your uh, Voodoo Ranger experiences. Let me know what you think about the different brews that both of these breweries make. I've been pleased with all of them. There's not a one that I would just pour out and not drink. Um, I like them both. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow for a Thirsty Thursday. Going to do a different IPA for you. Y'all stay tuned. Take care. And cheers.